Hey Doc, where are you at? I'm here at LG showing mobile phones and virtualization. It's amazing, you should see it. Where are you? Hey man, brilliant minds think alike. I'm over at the Samsung booth right now. Oh, wow, what are they showing over there? Same thing, so mobile computing, virtualization on a mobile platform. Oh, come on, can you ask if they can show it to you? Yeah, I'm gonna go over and check it out right now. Why don't you check out LG while you're over there and we can meet back up after this. So, mobile phones at VMworld virtualization show, what, what is LG showing here? Well, you know, you'd be surprised that a company that's primarily known for consumer products is here, but with everything mobile these days, it first starts out on the consumer side. So we've got mobile smartphones that are actually using a new VMware technology called the mobile virtualization platform to enable you to do the same thing that you might do. For instance, let's say you had an Apple Macintosh and you wanted to be able to run Windows applications for work. You run a hypervisor on it and there's a second OS running on it in this case Windows, you can do the same thing on mobile phones. When do we really get this on existing phones? When is this available? So the announcements are coming soon. Um, what we can say right now is uh, you can see this is a, this is a working production phone. It's, it's got a slightly different version of the firmware, but uh, what we've got right now is when you hit this work phone icon, it takes you straight from your consumer OS to your business OS, now you're running a second instance of Android. In this case, we've got it customized with a VMware logo. Do you need a mobile phone that has quad processors in it and that kind of stuff, or will uh, any mobile phone be able to do this? It's like anything with uh, mobile. If you have more processing available to you, you know that's better. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to have multiple processors. In this case, this is a single processor device. It's a one gigahertz uh, uh, Snapdragon. Hi, Paul. Hi. The uh, big buzz at the show today, a lot of stuff going around about mobile virtualization. Can you uh, show us what you're doing over here at Samsung? Yes, uh, we're, we're working with uh, VMware quite a bit, um, a lot of, uh, doing a lot of work together. Um, what you see is out of one, one example of our collaboration. Um, so we have our Galaxy, S, uh, a Galaxy phone. And essentially what this allows you, the user to do is switch between uh, two, two different profiles. So your, this is your personal phone, imagine. All your personal contacts, have personal files, messaging, uh, everything's in here. But let's say you want, want you're walk into an office and now you're in a work environment. All you have to do is push a button. That's work it? Work environment, that's it. Is One it? more thing I want to highlight. Um, let's say you have a separate data plan. You have your own personal uh, AT&T personal account. You also have a corporate uh, data account. That gets separated as well. So if you have unlimited data from your corporate side, um, and if you have a limited data on the personal side, um, all the data you're using on the, per, on the corporate side, it's limited to your, uh, your corporate account. When's this available? Probably looking to 2012. It's not available yet, but uh, working with the VMware to, uh, uh, to release that to public. And is it going to be, as well. and is it going to initially be available only on the, the phone side, or what about tablets? Uh, well, it's on, on the tablets as well. Yeah, we're working across all Android devices, regardless of size. Great, well thank you very much for your time. So it's great seeing what Samsung and LG are doing, but uh, I'm sitting here next to Courtney, who's part of the VMware team that is actually making the software that goes on these phones. Courtney, what are we doing with this Horizon? What is it? Right, so we have actually introduced Horizon Mobile, which is going to be part of the Horizon family. and. With the Horizon Mobile and Horizon Mobile Manager, we actually are able to tie MVP back to the enterprise now. And through this online console, IT administrators will be able to provision and manage the corporate workspaces on employee-owned devices. So this is like if someone leaves the company, you can disable the work phone from them and that kind of stuff? Correct. So there's strict isolation between the personal and corporate assets on the phone. And through Horizon Mobile Manager, and the administrator could remotely lock and remove all of the corporate assets without even touching a personal information on the device. So will this software also deal with getting the images to those mobile phones? Correct. So an employee could kind of bring their own personal phone into the enterprise and ask their administrator, hey, can I get one of those VMware work phones? From there, their administrator can actually push the work phone out over the air, so they don't even need to meet the employee face to face. It all gets downloaded over the air, and then from there, they'll be able to access corporate mobile applications on their device. What's the best way that people can uh, stay up to date about this project? You should definitely follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter account is VMware Mobile. 
and we also have a Facebook account, so facebook.com slash VMware Mobile, and we'll just kind of announce things as they come out. Okay. Well, cool. Thank you very much. I guess I have to ditch my iPhone and have to go switch to an Android device. <laughs>